the latest in the Russia investigation, though. Yes, and the developments this morning, uh, an associate of political operative Roger Stone telling ABC News that he's negotiating a plea deal with the special counsel. ABC's David Wright is here with the very latest. David, good morning. Good morning, Witt and Eva. Jerome Corsi, Ph.D., has been a person of interest in the Mueller probe for the past several months as investigators try and connect the dots to President Trump's close friend, Roger Stone. Corsi has confirmed to ABC News he is negotiating a plea deal. What's not clear is what he has to offer the special counsel in exchange for a lighter sentence. I've been gone for a while with the uh, Mueller uh, special counsel, as you all know. Followers of Dr. Jerome Corsi's webcast are well aware the conservative author and podcaster has been worried for weeks about a possible indictment from the special counsel. And I'm still in the no comment phase with regards to the uh, Mueller investigation. Corsi is one of a dozen associates of political operative Roger Stone to be interviewed by Mueller's team about what, if any, contacts Stone may have had with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. WikiLeaks was the conduit Russian hackers used to release thousands of stolen Democratic emails. It provides the opportunity to see a line from Russia who stole the emails to WikiLeaks who distributed the emails, WikiLeaks to Corsi and Stone, and Stone to the president. It seems like it's fake news feeding frenzy Friday. Stone has emphatically denied speaking or meeting with Assange during the 2016 campaign and told a WBEN radio show he has nothing to fear from Corsi. This idea that Jerry Corsi could implicate me, there's simply no evidence whatsoever that would show that I knew about uh, the source or the content of any, any allegedly stolen emails or any allegedly hacked emails that were published by WikiLeaks. Just not so. Well, on his way to Mar-a-Lago for Thanksgiving, President Trump was asked about the WikiLeaks founder. He claimed not to know much about him, which is kind of odd because toward the end of the campaign, he mentioned WikiLeaks several times at just about every stop. Yes, it was at that point helpful to the campaign. So uh, on a less helpful note for the president, there's also news that there's a legal setback in a lawsuit against Trump, uh, the Trump Foundation. That's right. The New York State Supreme Court has dismissed, uh, has, has denied a motion to dismiss the lawsuit against the Trump Foundation. The New York State Attorney General claims that the foundation was little more than a piggy bank for Trump, for his business and political interests. The, uh, uh, the Trump folks argued that it was politically motivated and that the court had no jurisdiction. The court respectfully disagreed, so now that case is going to go forward. Whether politically motivated or not, uh, the Trump White House is facing legal challenges on many fronts. Many fronts. David Wright, thank you very much. We Thanks. really appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.